So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree video. And today guys, I'm going to showcase to you how you can get this incredible weapon you do not want to miss. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this is one of the most wild looking weapons I have ever seen. I mean, just check this thing out. Look at that. It's like a spine with schools attached to it on like a curved, big old dirty blade. It looks incredible. So the weapon itself is called the Putrescence Cleaver. Now this, you actually get to pick from two rewards because it comes from a remembrance. The remembrance of Putrescence, who is a boss who is hidden away at the corner of the map and he's a big old baddie dude. I'm going to showcase you guys the exact location how you get there every step of the way for new players to the DLC. Um, but yeah, it's the Putrescence, uh, well the Remembrance of Putrescence, you can pick between this and you can also pick between uh, the Vortex of Putrescence, which is a spell uh, with that sorcery build, if that's your kind of thing, you can pick that either or. Now the weapon itself, you can see it scales with Strength, Dexterity and Arcane and it causes that Frost build up, very, very interesting. It requires 28 Strength, 10 Dexterity and 15 Arcane. Now the spell on the other hand, um, it basically requires 32 intelligence and 26 of that faith so yeah but the choice is completely yours now this has a attack called the spinning guillotine and like i said it's just wild it really is absolute wild so what you do guys is you press down that skill button you can hold it and it does some weird ass handstand on the blade you can keep keep tapping it and it does this weird ass thing that gradually gets a little bit faster when you keep tapping it but if you follow this up while you're mid doing this with a heavy attack, you do some wild ass spin. It's just, some, it's just, it's just weird. Now the boss itself is one of the best looking bosses I've seen in this game so far. Uh, but he ain't easy. Now I'll showcase to you guys how I beat him with my go-to build for these annoying ass big old bosses who I just can't take down. So where you get this guys is, he's located, the boss is located right down here, the Garden of Deep Purple. And it's quite a trek. You have to come through so many graces, guys. Uh, it's going to take us about 10 to 15 minutes to run here. But what I'll do, guys, if you have any of these um, graces unlocked already, because we'll be running past them, I'll timestamp them in the video description. Uh, but we're going to start at the castle front. So let's just go here. And then we're going to make this big old trek. It is a crazy trek. Then when we get to the boss fight, you'll see oh, I defeated him. I actually defeated him quite easy when it comes to it because with my normal build, I just couldn't do anything. He just, he's got too many attacks. I mean, well, I probably could have with time, but I, I'm impatient. I am really, really impatient. So we're going to come this way, guys, from the uh, Castle Front Grace. I'm going to make our way down towards the Cerulean Coast, that beautiful purple area. Now, it's quite a trek, but hey, like I said, timestamps will be down below. If you've got any graces unlocked already, you can skip straight to them. It saves you plenty of time. But I like to make my guides complete. And I don't like skipping paths and routes, especially when some of them are quite hard to even navigate with a game like Elden Ring. That's a lot of the time. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to come this way. Keep coming down this way. And we can ignore 99% of the enemies here. Um, this big old, well, these big old dudes on your left hand side. Yay! Shiz! <laughs> We're going to come through this swamp, which you've probably been through already, but if you haven't, you're coming through it. Don't get distracted by those pretty flowers in front of you. They will poison your ass. Yes, they do. So we're running past here, and we're going to take a route down here to our left-hand side. Now, there is actually a quicker path to this cave we're going to run through now, and it means coming down and scaling down the rocks, uh, which we'll come to in a second. See that guy in the distance there? I mean, you can scale down those rocks there, but I just like to take the correct path. Hey, to be honest, who's to say that ain't the correct path? But we're coming down this way, guys. Ignore that crab on your right. Taking a left here and running straight into this cave. Straight into this cave, people. Around this corner is my torch on because it's a little bit dark in here. I normally brighten up my videos for you guys anyway, but the more light we have, the better. And now we're going to come up to our grace, which is just through this next uh, cavern on your right hand side. So this grace here, guys, is 
there, Ilak River Cave. Cool. Now we're going to push on. So we're going to come this way. So I'm just going to jump out of water here. Is that here? No, it's not. Okay, cool. And we're going to jump on these rocks. Now you have to be careful here. It's not that hard. Once you get to a certain point, you can just jump down without dying. But the start, you know, your, your horse's legs are weak. For some weird reason, it can't fall off of like a seven foot rock. Okay, so we're just going to go to the left here just to make it easier on ourselves because we have to progress this way straight. And watch out for these birds. They can be an absolute pain in the ass. They almost knock me off them horse 80% of the time. Just be quick, just boost through, and you should be good. You should be good. That's probably the first time I've got through there without being hit by one of them. Okay, so come this way, guys. Let's drop down here and just drop down there. And then just drop down right here. And then right in front of us, we have yet another grace. Cool. Which is Elac River Downstream Grace. Now we're going to push on down here. So let's go. Let's go. And I can stick right here. And there's going to be a fire, a fire golem right there, which you want to try to avoid. We actually have to get quite close to him. Um, so let's fall down this way, guys. You're quite safe, to be honest. Just like so. And keep coming this way. And don't worry about this water. It will not kill you. You can actually go in it. And there we go. So we're going to come this way. And there's a big old crab there. And a fire golem is right there. Now we're actually coming up to our right here. You can see like the gap in between here. So we can actually avoid him quite easily. Just if you spot you. Some of his attacks are absolutely potent. So we're going to go this way guys. Down this way people. And keep coming this way. They can normally hear when these attacks are coming. So if you're here, just jump. Did I hear something then? I'm not sure. Jump in anyway. Jump in anyway. Okay, so now we're coming to the most prettiest area in the entire game. The Cerulean Coast. Okay, so now guys, we are at the Cerulean Coast Grace. Now we're going to push our way down to the Cerulean Coast Cross. So I'm just going to tag it there because it's been a while since we ran this way, but hey, there we go. So straight ahead. Cool, that's good to know. There is a big old dragon there which you do not want to fight. Especially not today. But he looks pretty cool, I'm not going to lie to you. In fact, he looks very, very cool. So we're just going to run this way, guys. What's his name, actually? You get close to his name. I'm sure his name comes up. Okay. That's to be too close. Too close for comfort, that. So it's just going to come this way. Past these graves. And up this hill. Oh man, yeah man, this area is absolutely incredible. Now I'm playing on the Xbox Series X on a high end PC. I can't imagine what this looks like. Also, by the way, this way you pick up the map if you haven't got the map from down here. Just gonna keep coming this way, guys, and we'll see you there, top of that hill. That's where we'll find that grace. Just like so. There we have it. So from here, guys, we need to make our way down to this place right down here. This is where we're going. So from here, guys, you want to head in that direction. So you can see that like weird, I don't know, it's like a horse up there. That's the way you want to be facing. You want to be facing west. So we're going to run around by northwest to start with. And then we're going to uh, run all the way around. And then we have to do some scaling, people. Um, we have to go down pretty deep. So yeah. Okay, so we're just going to come down this way. And there's going to be a guy trying to chuck things at you around here. I'm sure there is just there. He's right there. I'm going to take that mop. Right. I'm going to take this mop. Right, it's been one of them. Now, I'm not sure if they one bomb you, but I wouldn't be surprised. So just get out of the way of him. I mean, he's too slow to, hit, to throw multiple of them at you. So you ain't got to worry about that. If you hear them, just jump, just in case. And then, guys, you want to go up these steps just right here. And I'm just going to actually grab this, because I haven't grabbed this yet. And I was looking at it when I first came here, thinking, what is that? Okay, so yeah, it's just a grave glove warp. So I'm going to come over this way and jump down here, just like so. And then, guys, we're going to make our way over here. 
in this direction towards that big gravestone. And from here guys, we plunge down. We go down quite far. Yes, we do indeed. So come down here. Now this is, um, I mean, if you don't run, if you ain't in sprint mode on your horse and you just step off, you should be completely fine. There's nothing to really worry about here, apart from the enemies that will suck the blood out of you, which I absolutely hate. They're a pain in the ass, but just as long as you're quite quick in getting down, you should be good. But don't be using that double jump. You don't need to be using any double jumps because when you double jump, you go up higher and that can in fact hurt your horse, impact its landing. So I'm just gonna come down here and just put my torch. I thought I put that on already, obviously it didn't come on. And then we're taking a, well, going back on ourselves and being very careful and then going this way. Just like so, and then we're jumping down and now guys, we're at yet another grace, which I'm gonna to have to jump off my horse to sit down at because I've got enemies on my ass. So we are at the Fissure Grace, which is this one right here. So now we dive even deeper. So we're gonna go this way. Just like so, I'm keep running. You can't, I think actually, can you get your horse out here? Oh, you can get your horse. Oh, that was a waste of time because it stops there. <laughs> okay, so keep coming down this way, people. And now we're in here, the stone coffin for sure. And this is quite a trek down, but there is a grace there. And there's one point of it where it's pretty difficult because there's so many ads here. And the, do you remember the balls? I ain't seen them since the old game. I can't remember what they're called. But they just fire purple lasers at you when they spot you. It's a pain in the ass. Okay, so we're going to come this way, guys. I mean, there's going to be loads of loot for you to collect in this area. So if you want to pause this video and go and search, because there's quite a few things there. Oh, St. Trina's arrows, nice. Big old dudes as well. We probably drop some decent loot too. And from here, guys, you actually just jump down. Imagine that. Imagine that. In fact, when you first get here, there's actually a rock there, which when you stand on, it crumbles underneath you and you fall down, you don't die. So what you're telling me is, guys, and dodge all these big old dudes as well, they're quite slow, shouldn't be hitting you. But what you're telling me is, I can fall off like a 10 foot rock and break both my legs and die, but I can jump off a 100 foot, 200 foot drop and not die. What's going on there? Make it make sense, people. Okay, so we are now at the Fisher Cross and we're making our way down but that don't look too far that grace i think there's actually graces in between i think we go this way first <laughs> that's the one we end up at so yeah it ain't that quite it ain't that straightforward okay so i was gonna say this is a very difficult place to run through because you might have ads down here and they just absolutely obliterate you and i died so yeah <laughs> uh, we didn't see that edit you didn't see that cut so we want to come this way guys we want to try and avoid the attention of these birds if you can hey one or two of them may clock onto you that's fine to do just take them out not anything difficult to be honest the only problem is they can hit quite hard but come, back, come down here there we go okay so from here guys we need to push down and we want to take out these bull dudes now, there's a couple of them here that are seriously annoying see the ones up there that are shooting purple things at you oh my life they're the most annoying thing in, the, in this whole this whole route okay so what you can do guys is you can time it quite easily so as soon as you hit a charge just dodge Hear the charge, dodge. Hear the charge, dodge. Hear the charge, dodge. Hear the charge, dodge. Now from here guys, we actually wanna get up on that in front of us and then run around and take him out because we have to run quite a bit past him and there's a couple more down there and all three of them will be shooting you at the same time and it's not very pleasant. So you wanna jump up on here, just like so. Run around, he might hit you a couple of times but it shouldn't hurt, it shouldn't kill you. And from here guys, we plan that health. Now down below are my runes, but I ain't bothered about them. I didn't have that many on me anyway. You see this guy below us, the actual like wormy, bally thing. This guy spins up into some like weird thing and chase you and absolutely does crazy damage to you. The other ones that are like grouped up in piles down there, they just explode when you get close to them. So don't worry about them, just worry about that guy right below us. So jump down, lock on, and just dodge. See they exploded behind me. And there's another one there who shoots me and just doesn't actually edit and everyone got me i'm such a noob you can see there's two of them now so what i want to do guys is again with this system of just as soon as you hear that charge dodge the problem is now they're out of sync so it's going to be a little bit more difficult so we're just going to run make a run 
for the one at the bottom and take him out. As soon as you take the one at the bottom out, it's quite an easy, quite an easy path. So, when you're ready, let's go. Oh, my days, I'm a ninja. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm a ninja. No, I'm not. Oh, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> you're going down, boy. So we're good now. So from here, guys, just replay if you need to, which you probably will. Because uh, there's that grace not too far away from here. So now, guys, you want to come up around this corner, ignore that bird, and go straight for that guy. It's just over this part here. And just take him out. So if you don't take him out first. <laughs> okay, so now we're good. Now we're going to come this way. You can see there's another one there. They're everywhere, people. They're everywhere. But this one's a little bit easier to avoid because you can prep this. You can prep this all. I'm just going to regen all my shiz. I'm going to go. We're going to go for it. Again, dodge as soon as you hear the charge. Dodge. 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 Lock on and just take him out. Okay, so from here, guys, we're going down. And again, remember these guys explode when they get close to you. Just like that. So you just want to be very, very careful because there is a grace just down there. And you don't want to die at the last part, do you? <laughs> so now I'm just going to regen all my shiz. So now we are, guys, there. And I think we'll make our way now to this one and then to that one. So yeah. Now from here, guys, we actually go this way. So we jump across here. So we can see where the grace was. Just there. I'm going to actually drop down this way. Now, there's a few enemies down here you can take out. And they actually give you some decent little loot. But I've already taken them out. And I can't remember exactly what they are. But there's one of them in your way. You can't really get out of the way of. So this way, guys, I believe we go up here. And watch these guys falling from the ceiling. What am I? I'm, a, I'm such a scrub. I'm such a scrub. I said watch this guy falling from the ceiling and land straight on my face. And they can if your health isn't too high. They will absolutely destroy you like I'm getting destroyed now I'm just gonna run up here guys run up here and jump up here jump up there and come up this way come up this way and we're good run around <laughs> yeah I told you guys this is a trek now this guy here we can completely avoid just run straight past him you don't have to fight him so you're good there oh shit I forgot about him so yeah watch out for them too now here there's an enemy that spawns in uh, I can't remember who it was, but hey. Anyway, jump across, jump across again, and then go up, and go up, and go up. And then, guys, we have the grace point before the boss. Putrescence. So this is that grace. So obviously, you want to rest at this grace, guys, and then you simply come to the boss fight. Now, again, this boss can be a little difficult. He's got so many attacks, he just spins, he's, he's like mid-phase attacker, he just goes up into the sky, fires these blue flames at you. It was an absolute pain in the ass. So if you come down this way, guys, come up here. And I'll show you the build, the exact build I used to take him out in a quick second. Jump down. Let's fall all the way down, guys. All the way down, like I said, fall off a 10-foot rock. You break both your legs, your back, your spine, your neck, everything, you die. Jump off here, land in a puddle, and you're fine. But this is where the boss fight will start. To your right hand side, depending on the quest you followed, you'll be able to summon somebody in, but you can also use your summon as well. Uh, but the build I used was, and I'll showcase it to you guys now. So as you can see guys, I went to my scrubby old sorcerer setup. Now I'll just use any staff, it doesn't matter what staff you're using. Um, as long as you have a leveled up staff. This is the only one I've got leveled up besides one of them, but I did it about a year ago, a couple years ago, just because I was making a video on them. I then, guys, use uh, the Glintstone Crown, which gives me a little bit more intelligence at the detriment of stamina. Fine armor, go quite heavy in regards to uh, damage negation, uh, but you don't want to make it slow down too much. Then, guys, in regards to talismans, the only real one I wanted that I watched my Magic Scorpion Charm uh, and Ritual Swords Talisman. But in regards to these three, possibly, I only put them on because I also had on my Rivers of Blood at the same time uh, uh, to finish them off. Plus, I'm using the one and only Mimic Summon 
So yeah, the Mimic Summer will obviously switch weapons and do this, that and the other. So yeah. In regards to my Physic, I use the Magic Shredding Correct here and the uh, Fawny Correct here, again, uh, Rivers of Blood. But what's so special about this is it's so simple because we're using the spell of the Shard Spiral. And all you do is to spam it. If you're spamming this and your Mimic Summon is spamming this, it absolutely obliterates the boss and you're seeing it on the screen now the only thing you need to really work on when this boss is just dodging his attacks because his horse is, when he jumps off his horse and he's attacking you and his horse is running at you from a different angle it's quite hard to get used to seeing where it's coming from uh, but other than that guys just if you can get if he's focused on your summon or if he focuses on the summon you spawn into the fight depending on quests and what you progress at this point um, if you can get behind him and just spam this out it's utterly unbelievable and then just guys defeat this boss you then get the remembrance of putrescent which should use at the round table a good old finger reader and then pick whatever you want the vortex of putrescent or that big old hefty weapon which i can't remember what its name was my eyes are so tired the putrescent cleaver and there we have it guys i apologize about the long video i just like to make my guides full uh, but if you do appreciate leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more out of the ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one